Hi, my name's Sam Critchley. I'm the VP of Product at Gypsy, and I'm here to show you what our latest Gypsy mobile application can do. This is a Nokia N95 phone. It's running Symbian Series 60 operating system. I'm going to start up the Gypsy application. You see the icon in the top left of the screen. When you start Gypsy, you see a splash screen for a couple of seconds while the program is starting up, and then you see the main menu. You can see the five main functions of Gypsy. First of all, Place Me. That allows you to create a Gypsy place, add a photo, video, or audio to it, and upload it automatically, tied to a location, to the Gypsy website. Secondly, Space Me. That shows you your social space, where your friends are in relation to you, how long ago they were there, places they've made, and allows you to get in contact with them. Next, there's Find Me. That shows your current position on a map, and of course you can zoom in and zoom out on the map. Search. That allows you to search for places that other people have made around you. It also allows you to search for third-party points of interest such as restaurants, ATMs, gas stations, and shops. Of course, you can view photos and videos that other people have added to these places. And lastly, Me. Me shows you information about your Gypsy membership, how many places you've added, and some of your contact details. At the top of the screen, just under the Gypsy icon, you can also see a small satellite image. That shows that we're picking up a position from the GPS satellites in the sky. Now I'm going to talk about PlaceMe. PlaceMe is really the key content generation feature of Gypsy. PlaceMe allows you to create a place, add a name and description, take a photo or a video, grab your position from the GPS and upload to the Gypsy website. I'm going to show you how this works. First of all, you get to see a category. When I click category, I can select one of a number of categories. I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose work for this place. Then I can name the place. I'm going to name this place after the Gypsy HQ. Okay, so I'm sure you can think of more exciting things you want to capture, but this at least will show you how it works. Next I'm going to go and give the place a description. This step is optional. I'm going to say, here's the Gypsy office. I won't win any prizes for creativity, but you get the picture. Next we get to the exciting part. I'm going to take a picture to add to the place. So I click on options, insert new, choose image, and it starts the camera application in the phone, and I take a photo. As you can see, this one's pretty exciting. It's of my desktop here at the Gypsy HQ. Then I click select to confirm that I want to include that photo in the place and I'm back to the main menu for the placement. Click options once again, send and off it goes, off to the Gypsy website. We can check in a minute to see how it looks on the web. Next I want to see where my friends are and what they're doing. So I use the space me feature. Click on space me select refresh from the options list and off it goes to the Gypsy website to download a list of friends. Back comes a list of all my friends with icons for each friend and a distance away from me. Of course, I may have a large number of friends, especially if I'm a popular sort of person, but I may only want to see a certain number on the first screen, so I can click more to go and download the next screen of friends. Look, there's my friend Charles, and if I scroll down, I can also see my friends Mark, Mr. Pay UK, and Nicholas. Let's go back and look at my friend Charles for a second. When I click on his icon, I see his profile, and I find out a lot more about him. I can see his name, the name of the last gypsy place he created, and the distance away from me. I can also click on options to see where he is on a map. As you can see, he's in Surrey, in the UK. Of course, I can also send Charles an email, call any one of the numbers he has listed, and in the future I'll be able to instant message him as well. Now I'm going to show you how our Find Me feature works. Find Me shows your latest position on a map. When you see the map, you can click options, and you can zoom in, zoom out on the map, and you can pan the map left, right, up and down. Now I'm going to show you the search feature. Searching allows you to search for gypsy places and third-party points of interest 
around your current location or the most recent place you've been. To search, I just click on search in the main menu. You can narrow your search down to a category of place, a keyword, or restrict places viewed to those created by everyone, by your friends, or just by you. In this case, I'm going to search for all gypsy places in the eating and drinking category that have the word restaurant in their keywords. I click OK and the application goes to the Gypsy backend over the network, searches the database and comes back with all Gypsy places that have the word restaurant in the keyword and fit in the eating and drinking category. As you can see, we get a list ordered by the closest to your current position first. I'm going to look at a place I created a couple of months ago when I went out for lunch with my friend Robin. When I look at the place, I can click on any of the details to find out more about it. I can show the location of the place on the map and I can also share the place with my friends by sending them a text message or an email alerting them to look at the place. I'm going to send the place by email to sam at example.com. The last major feature of Gypsy is the Me feature. Me feature shows you details of your Gypsy membership, your phone numbers, email addresses, instant messenger accounts, where you are and the number of Gypsy places you've created. Lastly, you can also change the Gypsy settings. You can change user GPS and general settings, such as your username, password, whether you display images, how many results per page and how the GPS operates. Once I get back home or to the office, I can log in on the web, view the place I've just created, or edit it to change any of the properties such as the location, the description, or the category. I can also view other places in the vicinity of the place I've just created, view all the latest places, and have a look at all the latest Gypsy users, including my own friends. In addition, I can share places with my friends, invite people to become my Gypsy friends, and view my places in special Facebook and MySpace applications. Gypsy is already available on Nokia N95 and 6110 Navigator phones, on Windows mobile phones, and on the web. Soon will be available on Java and BlackBerry phones as well. OK, that's all from me. Best wishes from everyone at Gypsy, and thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you all on Gypsy soon.